Alright everybody, welcome back to uh, the Torque Base Constructor and Blender Tutorials. Today we will be covering uh, prefabrications. Now prefabs are set up so that it helps your art line uh, work get done a lot easier. Over on the top left over here, you'll see that we have some prefabs. Um, some come with uh, constructors, some don't. So this is something, I'm going to show you my uh, first prefab. What you have to do is click the icon on the upper left right here and select an area to go to. Now a prefab should appear. Now when you do that, all you have to do is click off of it after you've already clicked to install and you should be able to uh, sorry, manipulate it. So this one, which is a staircase, I'm going to bring up for just to show. Now prefabs, they do keep the textures, shapes, and everything, so just be sure that when you make things, that you make them with... Uh, the right proportion in mind. Some people use orcs, some people use their own personal characters. So right now we're gonna go through making a prefab. Sorry, prefab. We're gonna use uh, this four-way pipe over here. First we're gonna take this. We're going to copy it. We're going to go to a new scene. When you start up, there's or normally a new screen. And we're going to paste here. After it's done and pasted, also make sure you have brush mode enabled instead of face. That causes a lot of problems. Sometimes you won't even see it show up. That also happens if you zoom out to, at the wrong spot. Alright, so we're going to center this in the middle of the screen. You can do that on the 2D pan panels because they're best used. Focusing here, we're going to call this, uh, I'm going to say this as, um, alright, on a desktop we have our prefab folder. It's probably called. Alright, and we're going to call this 4-way, 4-way. Now, when I went to save it, you'll also notice that there's other things in there. Um, these other things, which they won't show up now, I'm using, I'm not using one of those full screen capture programs, so it doesn't show up right now. But I do have a screenshot showing the other things I do use. What I use is MS Paint to take a picture or make a picture on a 128 pixel screen and uh, I save it as 4 hyphen way. Notice the top left of the screen 4 hyphen way dot PNG. Then I make a smaller version, a 64 pixel and I name it 4way64.png um, you basically follow the numbers at the end of your file and you save those pictures as is so you have 4-way32, 4-way64, 4-way128 and those will then show up on your prefab menu when you go to click something so right now it's not here so we're going to add the folder to the system. Sorry about that crash for a moment. Picking up where we left off uh, with the prefab, um, prefab um, directory. Make sure that wherever you set your files that you don't have a space in the file name. So right now we have a directory set up in fire prefabs. No space, no apostrophes or anything funny. Uh, you name your directory, you target where it should be targeted, and as you see on the upper left hand screen, there is a directory called test. Now when we close it, we should see this, which is set up for, uh, I set this up for the 64 um, pixel version. And as you add it, you, 
click it, click here, and voila. I go straight to modify, then I highlight again. Alright, everything's already done, everything's installed, so. And there you have it. One of the best ways to set up prefabs uh, as far as folders and art goes. Uh, I love doing this because I hate to go to open up a new file and have to open up something new in order to get something that I possibly used before. Whether it be a street sign or a, a light or roadway or like a mech um, bay holder, docking bay, anything. So, just go over this again. We first make an item, then we save it as whatever item we want to save it as in a certain directory. As soon as you have your directory set up, you then move on to add in the artwork. There should be only three pictures, then add the item. System, manage prefabs, make your prefab, put a name in there target the folder, make sure there are no spaces or any funny symbols in there, just words. And then it should just drop on the upper left hand side of the screen with your prefabs ready and you should pretty much have an easier time with the things you do. So I hope that helps somebody, uh, maybe I'll get more into that, more into the other types of items you can possibly install. And I guess that'll be it for today. I'll just drop the other three tutorials tomorrow on Sunday. If you like it, please subscribe, rate, uh, if you're into Bomb Blender, Torque, or Constructor, uh, please let me know. Maybe we can get another tutorial going on, something else that a lot more people feels more important. Alright, thanks for your time.